member, a former federal lawmaker, Senator Kabiru Malafa, who is uh, from Zamfara State. He represented Zamfara State in the National Assembly. Thank you so much, distinguished, for coming tonight. Thank you, Sharon. Um, maybe before I get into the matter, let me, because I know there are a lot of controversy in your, in Zamfara State APC. I understand that there is going to be a Congress in Zamfara. Are you aware? Well, uh, since you started, let's start from there. Uh, we just received notice this evening that there's going to be Congresses tomorrow. And uh, when we just run a very quick one, to check, we found out that there was a letter written by the APC a long time ago that uh, Congresses be postponed uh, till 30th of this month. And just yesterday, I think today is 12th. Yeah. And just yesterday, 11th. Now, APC wrote a letter to INEC informing them that is going, there is going to be Congresses tomorrow uh, in Zamfara. Just barely, the letter was received, I think, today. 11, oh, well, either today or yesterday. I got a wind of it today. Yes, just today. And even today, this evening, you know, after your invitation to come and appear here. Uh, we are not surprised. This is the new APC way, and that is what they want to do. But... Uh, just so you feel sidelined, your group feels sidelined, because we, uh, there is your group, yes. there is a group of Governor Yari, and yes. there's in the, uh, the co-option of uh, the governor when he moved into, into the APC. So for your group, are you integrated, are you aware, have you been informed about the primaries tomorrow? Well, the whole... The Congress tomorrow. Yes, no, we were not. Uh, the whole thing, you know, is uh, a deliberate uh, attempt by the Memala led uh, NWC, not NWC, this kangaroo committee, whatever they call it, you know, is an illegal committee, we have said it, and they are giving us all the necessary uh, uh, support, you know, to take them to court and challenge their uh, position so that, by the action. The neck of your party sees it differently. If you say can't no, it is about the, next, it is the president about, it is about offended. The, no, it is about the constitution, not the president. You know, so... so but so, the neck of your party affirmed it. There is nothing... That is the highest is, organ in the party. Our constitution didn't, uh, uh, they didn't envisage anything like any caretaker. You can look that at... That matter has been taken to court, hasn't it? Well, even if it is not now, we are going to... Well, coming back to the issue, now there is going to be congresses tomorrow, and like I said, it is uh, a direct attempt by the Memala Committee you know, to sideline <laughs> the majority uh, faction in the Amfara state. And that will only aggravate the whole problem because now are, we have a split in the Marafayari faction as uh, it is. Uh, the Yari faction that uh, uh, we conceded, you know, there was the whole tussle started with Congresses way back in 20, 20, yeah. 2019. So after it, then we came to the general elections, we fought, and after it, you know, we came together, the party brought us all together to agree. Now, the Congress, the leadership of the party in the hands of Yari were unilaterally dissolved by Memala, who doesn't have the power, you know, obviously he cannot just mount the rostrum and, uh, uh, and say he has dissolved the executive. So uh, they took him to court. So that uh, faction of the party now decided that they are not going to participate in the primaries tomorrow. My faction is going to participate tomorrow. We are going to conduct uh, our own uh, congresses too and elect our own leaders. A parallel congress? Care. Yes, para in fact, but if that is, is illegal, isn't if it? There is, no, there is nothing illegal. It is, uh, because if the party has sent, the party has the power to conduct such, if the party has not sent um, a committee. The party has committed it. so many of these illegalities. Well, look so at you want the to also commit another illegality? Uh, well, no, not, not so really. So you are accusing no, the party? No, no, no. I'm just trying so you to tell want you, to take no, up look at, an illegality? Did you, look at, you, did you look at the state congresses in Sokoto? Two committees were sent to Sokoto by the same national body. Two committees so went to Sokoto and they supervised two parallel congresses. What do you call that one? Uh, two committees, I think, were sent to which, about four states. Two committees were made by the party itself, you know, and sent to them. So if we uh, that uh, labored, you know, to bring about this APC you are seeing together, uh, when some people, you know, were mayor SAs in their states, mayor SA of the governor in their states, you know, were <laughs> there, and today they feel they have grown wings and they want to sideline us, we would stand up and tell them that they cannot. So we will participate in the primaries, uh, in the congresses tomorrow and we are going to court again. And uh, we are going to court, you know, to ask for <coughs> the breach of procedures they have committed. Because there is ought to be notice 
sent to everybody. We are APC members, and we are not ready to leave APC. We maybe they, maybe they sent notice, but because of the outage of communication, but I told you, uh, well, that is another, that is another aspect that maybe I that's the reason why you didn't get it. Well, that is another aspect I think even the president needs to know. <clears throat> yes, that uh, uh, issue of uh, outage of communication. Outage of communication has done more harm, you know, to our people than good. There is just nothing good about it. The people that are supposed Senator, to... Senator, why would you say that? No, I'm saying... I'm, I'm because, going to give you reasons. Because was, the I'm governor has said that... I, it, well, that there's is... A, there's, a, there's a slowdown in, that in the is, activities of the bandits. Well, that is the governor. And I don't know where he draws his information from. For the security agency? I am telling you, I am telling you as an indigenous and a citizen of Danfara State. And I want you to use your head also. Now, what are all these things about? <clears throat> this uh, break uh, in communication. Now, the people, I think even day before yesterday I saw, you know, they said the Danfara State governor sent a delegation to one of the key bandits that uh, controls a very large area, you know, to uh, ask him to embrace, uh, what do you call it, uh, Amnesty. Uh, uh, yes, well, amnesty or uh, negotiation, whatever. And he told them that he, is, he, he doesn't give a hoot about the breakdown of the communication because he uses Sraya. And that is the truth of the matter. They use Sraya all over the place. Now, so what is the breakdown of uh, the communication all about? It is all about suppressing the people not to <laughs> say they are, uh, uh, maybe to, 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 to come to the aid of themselves. Because when there was communication at least, if there is going to be an attack in a, a village or there is an attack, you know, the people from the village can call for help from all over the place. Now nothing. And these things continue day in, day out, every day. And I think the Minister of Communication needs to fear God on, on this issue. Because to us, there is like a connivance with him, you know, to just day before yesterday, how many police, uh, poor seven mobile police officers were killed, you know, just day, about three days ago. And we saw their corpses. And everything, and what happened? Because they were ambushed, and they don't have communication gadgets, they don't have anything. Now, the people they were supposed to uh, be attacking, you know, have uh, a way of communicating with themselves. But our security agencies don't have communicating, uh, uh, communication gadgets. Then go to the, uh, the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the measures imposed by the government. Uh, closure of markets, uh, closure of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, no selling of petroleum products and so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> these people go on kidnap uh, uh, this thing. So when they kidnap a person, you know, out of the things they will list, they will tell you to bring five jerkins of petroleum product, bring food, bring this, bring... So they don't need to go to market to feed. So for God's sake, this thing is affecting our people and unless something... If you go back to my submissions on the floor of the Senate, there was this time that I said the bandits are taking over administration of uh, distance. Today it is coming out very, very glaringly in Sokoto. But what would you rather uh, have the governor, the security agencies do? People have criticized that they're not doing enough. They made the decision, they came together, the security agencies advised, and they took a decision. Well, what I would just advise them, I, would, I don't want to go into what uh, doesn't uh, concern me. Now, it is their responsibility, you know, God is going to ask them how they <coughs> uh, uh, manage these people that God gave them to manage. So, but all I would say is they should discharge their responsibilities with the atmosphere of God because God is going to judge everybody. If you say that, the, I mean, the shutdown of telecommunications is not working. If you were in the governor's shoe, what would you have done? I would have done it differently. How? Uh, well, uh, I don't think uh, I'm not the governor unless if you are ready to make me one this night. No, 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 but you. if you criticize it, that what I am doing not, is, uh, is I wrong, am not really. But I'm asking what I'm is not right. Really, uh, what I am telling you is it is not working. When they started, when they said they were going to do it, I was. I am one of the advocates that tell people, you know, to give government a chance. Let this. Let's see how this things can work. Because my concern is. I want to see it work. I want to see my people live in peace. That is all. That so, is just now my you think it's not working. So now, have not you been I able think, to, have yes, you been no. able to speak to the governor about this? Uh, well, we have not been able to speak in this uh, few days, but I'm sure very soon, maybe today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, because he has been away. Right. Uh, and, uh, and I'm sure let, we, we, are, we, are, we are going to talk. But whatever it is, 
Uh, I want especially the Minister of Communication to take note of this. He is one of the few people, and I agree with him, in one of his preachers, he said, uh, if it is his desire, you know, people of good character should not take up appointments with government. Because once you take an appointment, now if the person respects you tenfold, and uh, after taking the appointment, to reduce to, to, to the only one. And I think we are beginning to see it. Because uh, for Pantami now to sit down in Abuja, you know, and shut down communication in Zamfara, for more than how many this is criminal. But I yes, think people no, are, are losing their lives that by the day. That Even years before for you yesterday. To use those words because it was an advice based on security. Uh, uh, whatever it is, you don't need to. You, you, you don't sit down and just get advice based on security. You need to be that was on the not field. Only his responsibility. No, but you be the on the field. No, you be on the field. You know to ask, to, to assess what is All happening. Right. Senator, yes. because that's actually not a focus tonight. We spent thank you, uh, quite a long yeah, time. Well, spent. Yeah. The mode of primary is actually the reason why I invited you. Well, thank and you. because you know why one one reason why your thought came to my mind, because your party went to court and you lost on Farah to the PDP because of primary. Now, you are a practical experience of uh, what primary should be or is or was or the situation is. But let's look at it. What is your position on the issue of the mode of primaries? The, uh, the amendment to the Electoral Act says direct primaries. That will be what is going to be acceptable. The lawmakers have their position. The governors and some leaders of the party have their own position. What's your own position? Well, uh, thank you very much for this. And uh, before I go into it, let me <coughs> uh, join the two. You know, the one that you said we have spent a lot of time on and this one. Uh, I want to uh, use maybe this uh, 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 opportunity, you know, to tell especially APC that governance is for the people. So you govern people. Now, my people are under siege. My people uh, are facing great difficulty so politics should not be placed above the people so now <clears throat> i'm saying this because of uh, uh, all these things now that we have been talking and uh, i was here for quite some time you know listening to other people now let me begin with uh, saying this <clears throat> i think the uh, the federal lawmakers that is the senate and house needs to be commended on this issue they have tried you know they really want to uh, <clears throat> maybe domesticate politics, you know, that is uh, bringing politics, you know, to the people. I think that is the, the, the whole idea. But uh, maybe the only thing they didn't do, they didn't consult widely. There are people that have practical experience. Yes, that is like the people of the Amphara State. We have practical experience, maybe if they have done it. Now, let me also uh, uh, congratulate the president, not uh, well, where to commend, even though he has not yet signed the bill. And I hope before he does, maybe he should ask for some certain amendments, you know, for the bill to work. Now, uh, I said uh, the, the legislators need to be commended because uh, it is, you know, a very, it's a radical step taken by them, you know, uh, one that would uh, bring politics, uh, you know, closer to the people. Now, but the issue is, now why the governors are fighting is because the ones leading this process, that is the governors leading it, I think are very, very ignorant of what uh, <laughs> the whole uh, issue is. Otherwise, they have no reason to fight uh, uh, for, 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 for all distance. And uh, on the side of the legislators, now, this thing is, uh, is a very noble idea and everything, but you have to put in some few things for it to work correctly. Now, I have not read the bill, honestly speaking, uh, so I don't know the extent of the amendment they have made. But if the amendment doesn't include maybe like uh, who are the people that are going to officiate, you know, the, uh, that are going to, uh, 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 what do you call it, that, uh, uh, that are going to be the returning officers and uh, everything of the election. Now you have a problem there. Now I'll give you an example with Zamfara. <clears throat> now why it worked for Zamfara is, now when APC at the top here, or any political party at the top here, would make guidelines, and in such guidelines, they would say that a committee would be sent to a state, you know, to conduct uh, primary elections. Now, this committee is going to be of how many people? Maybe five people maximum that will go to, like, say, Zamfara or seven member committee. Now, they will go to Zamfara and conduct uh, uh, primary elections. Zamfara State has 147 wards. Now, you send nine people or seven people to go and conduct primaries. Now, how can they divide themselves into 147? 
to conduct primaries? The answer is impossible. So what do they do? They key in with the local chapter at the state when they go to the state, you know, to conduct these pri uh, primaries. Who is the local chapter? It is the same disesco that are being abused and, uh, <laughs> and feared by everybody. Now, what does the guideline, like the previous guideline says? <clears throat> now, when the committee comes, they will go to the ward and uh, who constitute the electoral, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, officials. Now, the chairman, the youth leader, and I think, uh, uh, I forgot, the other, uh, secretary, secretary of the party at the ward level. Now, these are the people that will be the returning officer, officers and everything. Now, these people are party officials. Now, next is who are the uh, people that, uh, who is going to pay for all these things. Now, in each of this ward, you will need security agents at the place. You will need INEC. Well, INEC will pay their own staffs, maybe. But uh, customarily, when you send security, you have to give them allowance and everything. Who is paying for that? <laughs> Nobody. So, like the case of Danfara. <clears throat> now, why it worked? When the committee came, we made case that time that, okay, there was a court injunction that says, you know, uh, both Mara faction and the Yari faction, you know, should maintain status quo and uh, stay out. Don't do anything that will jeopardize the substance of the case. Okay? Now, so we now said we want this committee to go to a neutral uh, point where everybody can access them. Without doing that, if the APC sends a committee today to Zamfara, now that committee is going to go into the hands of the local chapter, that is the state chapter of the APC. Now that state chapter of the party is usually controlled by the governor. So from there, he will pick them direct to government house. Now they will pay court C call to the governor and do everything. And uh, now they are the host and this is our guest that is coming from Abuja. So they may choose to stay in the government house. So if I am a contender or you are a contender, you cannot even go to the government house to say that you are going to attend any meeting and uh, voice out your feelings. You cannot. So like in our own case, when the committee came, you know, we asked for a neutral ground. And uh, the then party chairman, Chief Oshimole, said that, okay, go to the police headquarters. And uh, the police commissioner provided his conference room. That is where we sat. And there were nine gubernatorial aspirants, you know, and all, all the nine sat with the commissioner of police, the DG SSS, INEC uh, resident electoral commissioner. Everybody was there because it is a neutral ground. Everybody was free to come in and hear his views. Now, next, we ask who, is, who are going to be the officials because we don't trust the political parties, uh, the, the political structure, you know, on ground. So now we now said, okay, these are the number of staffs that we require to go and conduct primaries in each of the wards. And how do you pay them? So we now talked about the, how much uh, their allowances would be, and uh, it was computed. Now, each of the aspirant was asked to bring uh, 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 his... I can't remember that time whether it is 19, 19 million naira or 12, 12 million naira, whatever. And each of the aspirants paid this 12 million naira. Now, in the absence of that, who is going to pay? The governor. The governor is going to pay for all these monies. Now, it's a common... So, I mean, if, who, if the lawmakers are saying indirect primaries, we get into the hands of the governors and they will manipulate it, you are saying that the direct primaries will suffer the same thing? It will suffer the same thing. Unless if you do, their intention is good, they have done, but the only thing, like I said, is maybe there are things that you need to put in place. Like, for instance, again, now, to declare, I don't know if they said... All results will, should be declared at the point, you know, of, in, in each of the words. Because if the result is going to be transmitted to, to the headquarters, like I told you, the main committee coming to the state will move directly into the government house. They will be in the government house. Maybe that is where the secretariat will be. That is where they will be sitting. The governor, of course, will not be there. But now, how can you, the governor says, I want Mr. A to emerge. And uh, you are contending, just, just, just maybe about three or four of you, you come to the government house and say that uh, 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 that is impossible. Now, <laughs> you and me can guess what is going to happen. I mean, what do you think is the way out of this doldrum? Because your party is now emerged in this uh, debate, which is going to determine who becomes uh, a candidate of the party at some point, a uh, few months, uh, just a few months away from the presidential primaries next year. So how do you think your party can get itself out of this 
Right. <laughs> well, my party is already in, in, in its own kind of uh, problems and mess. So, uh, and uh, they are, by the day, compounding the issue, you know, by trying to bring everybody in and mess everybody up. That is the truth of this matter. So forget about my party. We are talking about Nigeria now. We are talking about the electoral process and we are talking about the national, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, National Assembly that is trying, you know, to bring out something out of maybe uh, rubbish or whatever or, or something that is already too bad maybe. To, so how do you achieve that? So I believe the president now before accenting to the bill should look at some of the gray areas, listen to people, like I told you, like uh, for instance, to now insert, I don't know, I have not read the bill, uh, the bill, if they have done so, because you cannot do everything by legislation. I'm sure part of the bill will say that parties will bring guidelines. That is one of the key areas that the party would now sit down and bring guidelines that will favor the governors again, which the National Assembly now are afraid of. So they would say, that, okay, in the guidelines that uh, these are the people that will conduct the, uh, the primary election. So now there would be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, there would be the, the, the official results, you know, at the ward will be different from the result that would be communicated, you know, to the center, maybe at the state level. Some, they are, give and take, you are going to have something better than what is obtained before. Mm -hmm. Because like members of House of Assembly, whose constituencies are right at the ward level. So maybe that is where the declaration will take place. But if you now say that all results must be declared there and then, and uh, you have uh, a very strong INEC, like, uh, uh, you know, giving credit to who, credit, who deserves credit. Now, INEC in Zamfara at that time tried their, <laughs> their possible best. Because where there were no Congress, uh, what do you call it, primaries, you know, they wrote from uh, Zamfara to Abuja to say that uh, the, 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 the primaries didn't actually hold. So, 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 so I can assure you if maybe such things, you know, are put in place, it, it, uh -huh. so it, it is going to be a lot better. But when you say like for the gubernatorial uh, or the senatorial where you have uh, many <laughs> words, you know, that makes up the senatorial or House of Representatives this thing. And you say the coalition center is at the senatorial headquarters, uh, headquarters or House of Representatives headquarters, and uh, you now communicate results. So what will happen is, like I told you, they will put the center where it is impossible, you know, for the opposition, right. you know, to access. And uh, they would now... A manufacturer result, write it so the rest is you run to court, and it becomes very, very difficult for Not you, messy. you know, to, it's to, 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 to prove your point. Right. So, so, so I think uh, it's a welcome development, but that needs to be looked into, you know, by people that have experience. Like I told you, I have a first hand experience, not only me. You know, everybody from right. Farah at that, that time, you know, had a first hand experience. So, maybe we need to fine tune it, even though. Uh, this is just the first step, uh, the first step. And uh, maybe next four years, you know, there is going to be where we have experience uh, and, uh, and, 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 and right. we would, would make uh, uh, more, more inputs into, into distance. But uh, having said all this, Mr. Sherwin, I want to just say this again. <clears throat> you know, uh, I am from Zamfara State and I'm concerned about the safety and welfare of my people in Zamfara State. And uh, I think we should give uh, these issues of insecurity you know, more and more attention, All right. uh, much more than politics. Because, like as, uh, I said earlier, now look at the poor policemen that were killed just did for yesterday, and nobody is talking. Today, uh, to Zamfara, we are talking about conducting uh, congresses tomorrow. I don't think uh, it, is, it is a good thing, and uh, I think uh, the president uh, needs to hear this because right. nobody is telling him now. All our members in the National Assembly you know, are not saying anything, and nobody is saying anything about this thing. All right. And Sanitor. I think uh, yeah. it is... Uh, it is uh, we, we, we need to leave it at that, because we are You don't have to, because, because <laughs> today is Zamfara, uh, tomorrow it could be somewhere else. Yeah. So I think we, just, we, yes, we, we all need to, 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 to work together, you know, and bring an end to this... Uh, uh, Senator Kabiru Marafa, so much. Yeah, a former senator of Zamfara Central in the uh, National Assembly. Thank you so much the senior center for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.